Believe it or not, this is supercharged number 3957. Original battery pack, original motors, original owner. Also original windshield, original brakes, pads and rotors. Hey, this is Mike from Tesla High Mileage Club. You may have seen um, back in my rear quarter area a glass, the teslahighmileageclub.com wings that we have with our logo for 100, 200,000, 300,000, 326,000. Anyway, let's get right to it. This is a master class. A master class for what? For the rear suspension of most Teslas. Okay, now I have a Model X and um, this applies to just about every Tesla out there actually. And it's the rear suspension, the inner tire wear issue that happens on the rear suspension of Teslas and also the shutter or vibrations that can happen on Model X and S. And um, actually it, it may happen on the other models as well. Uh, Cybertruck remains to be seen, but anyway, this is for all of that. So let's get, this is the masterclass. Let's get right into it. First of all, definitely join us at teslahighmileageclub.com. I learn new stuff all the time from you guys from the collaboration we have over there. And uh, this is my own personal experience over 300,000 miles of owning my car. What you need to look out for if you plan on keeping your car a long time. And actually, it actually applies too if you plan on racing your car on track on a regular basis, but somebody in the middle, uh, may not apply so much, but let's get right into it. The problem on Model X is in the rear. You, you got a staggered wheel design. Now you can go to square if you want, you can change the rims and everything to, so that the tire sizes are equal width, front and rear, but I don't have that. So the way Tesla does it, the way Elon Musk likes to do it is the best part is no part. So what they've decided to do is set the rear camber and toe uh, which are the camber is this like your instead of your tire rim being straight up and down you're like this okay so it's the top is inward the bottom is outward and that means you're going to wear that inner rear tire edge and trust me you do if you got model x and s you don't see it until you cl crawl under the car and look square at that rear inside edge you'll blow a tire suddenly and you won't know why and i'm telling you why so that's a problem on Model X and S. It could be a problem on 3 and Y as well because those camber arms, that's camber, are fixed. So over time, as they wear, it starts to tow out anyway, okay? And even if it was right when you got it, uh, it's going to start to get worse over time. Now, your tow is how straight, how straight is that tire, like looking straight onto it as you're driving down the road. You actually want it pointed slightly in and forward. Like this is the front. My fingers are the front of the car. Have that tire in like this toe in a little bit so you have more high speed stability now unless you're on a track and you want the opposite you want out you know but the average person for tire wear and higher speed stability for autopilot and things wants it to toe in a little bit and as you pull that camber out it's pulling the toe in a little too much you want to you want to kind of release it a little bit so you got to get both adjustability because from the factory uh, and whenever there's a problem with your suspension tesla will always reset at the factory Ask me how I know. <laughs> you want to, um, you want to have this adjustable. You cannot adjust from the factory any, as far as I know, camber arms in the rear or toe arms in the rear. We're talking about in the rear. Now, um, this is important for your driveline vibration because you want to have the car ride as low as possible because of the angle of the front half shafts problem that causes the ultimate driveline vibration that's unsolvable, totally unsolvable at this point in time. We need a whole new generation of drive shafts that can handle all the torque. What's out there now can't. So you have to ride lower than possible, lower than normal, which means you need to lower your suspension if you're on coils, you need to ride in the low setting if you're on air. And um, in order to do that without totally destroying your rear tires, you have to adjust that camber and toe in the back so that you can stay on the lower positions. And if that doesn't matter to you, don't worry about it. Tire wear is the bigger issue because you're going to eat through rear tires. Now, again, unless you're tracking your car, if you're racing and tracking your car, you maybe you, you want all that extra camber. You want instead of it straight like this, you want it you want it out like that because you're throwing your car into corners, uh, and that's fine too. Now, what do I recommend? First of all, look down below in the description of this video. You will see links. I have an unboxing link of Intuitive, which is the best company if you ask me. You can look at the difference between the intuitive camber and toe links or, or arms uh, as they're called. 
in the back of the car in comparison to what I pulled off of my car, Tesla OEM with, with almost no wear. So it's a really good comparison. Check that out, the unboxing. Also down below is the installation of the camber arms, which I say anybody could do that. And then also another link down below is installation of the tow arms. Now that's gonna be the more difficult one if they have not yet been done already on most Teslas and watch the video to find out why. But if it's already been done and mine had already been done, I, I do it all myself, okay? I am just a shade tree mechanic at best and I was able to do that. So all this to say, um, in terms of your masterclass, if you wanna be able to control your rear tire wear, you're gonna keep your car for a long time, number one thing is you've got to get adjustability in these. Now, none of the Tesla models, when I say none of them, I mean S, I mean X, I mean three, I mean Y, I mean Cybertruck. You cannot adjust them. So again, the lower you ride that suspension, the worse that tire wear is gonna be, and you can't rotate if you have a staggered design. I know, I know Model Y performance has a staggered design. Model 3 performance may also have a staggered uh, rim design from the factory. So remember, you can't rotate, so you've got to be able to get some adjustability. Now, take a look at the videos. Uh, you may wanna find somebody in your area, and I can tell you, Intuitive is who you wanna to talk to. Don over there at Intuitive, he's an awesome guy. He will hook you up with a shop in your area if you don't feel comfortable doing the work that I show you. And believe me, I didn't feel comfortable <laughs> until now. And this is a second replacement. I, if you look in the videos, you'll see I have almost 200,000 miles of use on the original intuitive parts. And you can see how they held up, which was phenomenal if you ask me. That's why you wanna go with this company. If you're just gonna goof around with your car for six months and sell it, maybe you go with somebody else. Uh, but outside of that, if you're gonna take the time and energy to get this done, because you're gonna need an alignment afterwards, in most cases, unless it's a replacement like mine was. If it's a replacement of adjustable arms where you already had a good alignment, there was no problem with the alignment, you can do it no alignment, but you will need to align. So you'll need to get a shop, probably get a shop to install these for you and align ideally. So you don't have to drive an out of alignment car uh, down a highway, uh, which is not, which is an interesting experience. Also ask me how I know. I did that out in California when I originally got the, um, the camber and tow arms put on my car. So in terms of the masterclass, what you need to know is that yes, this is almost certainly gonna be a problem for you if you don't have an expensive uh, car changing habit, <laughs> the most expensive habit there is pretty much. If you want to get the most for your money, you wanna go with Intuitive. They're the highest quality too. And um, they have a lifetime warranty actually, the parts that I got. So, uh, and then Don at Intuitive, this is all they do. Uh, they've, they've also recently improved the bushings on these things and the bushings are what's gonna wear out over time. So there you're gonna, I might be able to get 300,000 out of the set I got that I just put on my rear tires now. And again, as part of, the, of what I'm saying, if you don't believe me, what you'll see is you'll say, hey Mike, my rear tires, they don't wear. I, I looked at the tread, I, I stuck my hand uh, on the edge, it looks brand new. And yeah, it does. It does look brand new on the out edge of that, outer edge of that tire. But you gotta crawl underneath the car and you gotta look at the inside edge that's on the inside of your car, not just on the tread edge itself, because it'll wear on the inside. That's why you'll go down to the metal uh, threads or you know metal cords very quickly and you'll blow out a tire. And believe me, that's how I lost my first rear set of tires. Denise was with me. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. I'm like, the tires look great. I just checked them, I did the inflation. Oh, and part of this, I want to tell you, in the rear, I also recommend, in addition to the correct alignment, that you inflate your tires a little bit more than you normally would, and I'm here with the active supercharger, and more than Tesla recommends in the back. Maybe more like a towing pressure. And the reason why is because when you add extra air, instead of the tire tread being like this, it'll start to, uh, how do I make my finger go, like bow down like this. So you'll get more contact patch on the middle of the tire instead of on the edges. And that'll also probably prolong the life of your tire. And again, I'm talking about average drivers here, more highway driving, like more calm driving. Uh, you know, you're not, you got low insurance rates and you just like to keep your stuff a long time without having to spend more and more money on these things. That's who I'm talking to, your average Joe and Jane, when I say all these things. So um, 
Uh, let me think if there's anything else I've, I've maybe missed. But remember, the key that you got to remember here is that you got to go to independent shops. Tesla themselves, any Tesla branded service center uh, will not do this work. They will only reset your car or bring it back to factory specifications. Factory specifications are non-adjustable camber at the rear, non-adjustable toe at the rear, which is less than optimal. It's way less than optimal. It, yeah, it's one less part, two less parts, four less parts actually all together. And that's why Elon and Tesla did it the way they did. But from a longevity, low cost of ownership, uh, low incidence of problems uh, standpoint, you want to make a change there. And you know, if you watch any of my videos, any other videos, you know that I also talk about cleaning your radiator slash AC uh, condenser up there in the front of the car. That's also something that you should be doing and you should be doing once a year. So I think we've covered it all in the masterclass. You have officially passed. If you've gotten to this point in the video, I can um, email you a certificate of completion if that's what you want. But more important, I'd love you to join us at teslahighmileageclub.com. This is Mike Young with teslahighmileageclub.com, also known as a digitalnomad.net. You may see this video on either of those two YouTube channels as well. And we really appreciate you, you know, taking the time to learn about your Tesla and, you know, just the unique things like this that go with owning a Tesla and trying to get the best experience you can, the best ownership experience you can. And we're glad you're with us. Please like the video, comment down below anything you have, any questions you have. And again, all the links to all the accompanying videos, including how to pry off if you've got air suspension, your Tesla OEM original factory plastic, uh, I think they're called ride height links, okay, without breaking them, without breaking them. That'll be in the description. You'll watch me do it too. It is possible to do. Oh, and Don and Intuitive also has some adjustable ride height links if you're into that. I'm not into that, but that's another facet of this that you can get into if you want. But share this video with a friend. Share this video with anybody who has a Tesla who wants to keep it as long as possible I want to spend as little money as possible on their rear tires or just tires in general, even if you're rotating, you know, um, and you have a square setup, you'll still spend less money on tires and you'll have that adjustability. And like, let me tell you, the, also the one benefit that I really like most is just in regular general driving, that increased contact patch on the rear. Instead of riding on those insides, the little skinny little inside part of that sidewall, which is where it wears down to the cords, you're riding on the whole tire. So you, you ride, even with my 22s that I've got on here, that's what I've got from Tesla. It's a nice, smooth ride. I mean, it really, it really is. I mean, I asked Denise when I, when I redid the arms here for this, this uh, time myself, I had the alignment right the way I wanted it. But I also, on the new arms that Don sells, they have little um, gradient uh, millimeter markings on. You can actually knowingly bump out equivalent on both sides so you can wear it a little bit differently. I want to wear a little bit more to the outside uh, tread. And now I've got it totally flat in the back there. And uh, Denise says she notices that it rides better. The car rides better, the car tracks better on straight flat roads. It just feels better. It's got a more planted feel. And, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna win the slalom in this thing, you know, uh, and it just depends on your driving style. If you wanna win the slalom, you can, you know, tow out those rear tires and look like some of those, uh, I, I don't know, uh, rice rockets, uh, Subaru WRXs or whatever they have with the, with the tires out like that. And you'll be buying new tires every two or three weeks probably. So thanks for watching and pass it along to friends who can benefit. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next video, teslahighmileageclub.com.